Hello my fiery friends, the Inferno Man here with our latest gameplay and deck tech video to show you. In this series, we highlight a random deck on MTG Arena, and it can range from a spicy homebrew to a tier 1 meta deck that is hot on ranked. And if you do enjoy these videos that we make, all I ask for you is to give a like on this video and subscribe to the channel as I would greatly appreciate your support. Now, if you like the deck we're playing today, I'll leave a link in the details below so you can give it a spin for yourself on Arena. Keep in mind that these videos will be pure gameplay, no commentary style, so you can enjoy the game. But if you do want to hear my deck tech analysis and thoughts, I'll leave that at the end of the gameplay. So without further ado, let's take the deck that you see right now and get started.
you're my end coin for carnage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. And there you have it, everybody. That is our Is It Wizards deck modified for the Explorer format. Now, the question that we're going to ask that we, of course, had on the title was, is it good? I know. Sorry, I had to get that pun in. But yes, even in the Explorer format, with a sl couple slight modifications, the deck is still explosive, still very powerful. Of course, if you do want to play this in Historic, the only things I mentioned before that we're going to modify is you obviously are going to put in your static discharges instead of lightning strikes, which gets you a lot more mileage out of the card. And of course, kick in the door. This is a personal pet card of mine that I really like playing with, so that's why I added it to this version. But in the original one, Reckless Charge is going to be the go-to card that you're going to use instead to guarantee you can get off what you need. The only other personal modifications I made to the deck is using Of One Mind. This card is actually one that most people have forgotten. This common basically lets you draw two cards for one blue if you control a human creature and a non-human creature. And we have exactly what we have. We have three Balmore Battle Mage Captains as a Bird Wizard. Our Dreadhorde Arcanus is four Zombie Wizards. And then we do have a set of humans with Symmetry Sage 
and Soul Scar Mage. So basically we have already a nice balance in order to make this card go off. But of course, in the worst case scenario, it's just a divination. But otherwise, I think in my personal opinion, this is a little bit more of a riskier option, but I personally prefer playing it over the more safe chart, of course. So just keep those cards in mind if you are interested in utilizing it. It's up to personal preference. You can pick what you want, but this is, again, just how I like to do it. In any case, going over the deck real quick, one more time, just... You're just going to try to spell sling off. Try to get at least one or two threats out there. Get your Symmetry Sage or get the Soul Scar Mage out. Then you want to try to recur with Dreadheart Arcanist or just go huge with your Balmor Battle Mage Captain. So either of these cards, usually you want to have them as a tag team and then just start throwing out stuff. You should consider, of course, to draw what you need. Get your kick in the doors to pump up your Dreadheart Arcanist. That way it will have always a guaranteed two power, which can then trigger off more lightning strikes for an extra value. But otherwise, most of our cards are still one drops. So the Dreadheart Arcanist, even if it doesn't get a pump is still pretty solid your standard burn spells with play with fire your lightning strike as i mentioned earlier a single copy of spike field hazard we technically have 19 lands in the deck which i'll cover in just a second but if we need that 20th land this can come in tapped in a pinch if we absolutely need it to nothing much else to talk about in the two drop slots and i just kind of covered it already so going over the three drop slot this is where things get a little interesting we already talked about of one mine but also of course since we're doing wizard tribal as the sub theme to the deck we have wizard's lightning which ideally should be able to go off for one mana basically making it a lightning bolt in explorer and then a single copy of mentor's guidance now it is a little pricier in our deck we only have one copy of and we are running a lower mana curve than normal but because of its ability to copy itself if we control a cleric druid shaman warlock or wizard well that means technically for three mana you get to draw two cards and scry two which is not too bad of a cost and of course if you can then trigger it off additionally with dreadheart arcanist of course, having it out with the Symmetry Sage, you'll get a lot of value out of one single copy. And that's really all you need for that. Otherwise, for your mana base, pretty much what you've already expected before, your Shock Lands. You get a couple Fast Lands. We'll have the Pathway Lands. And if you want to use the Pain Lands, go for it. Again, if you want to use instead the slower lands that they introduced from Midnight Hunt, that's your choice. But personally, now that we have an option for the Pain Lands and this deck is very aggressive, I would highly recommend craft these if you can. Otherwise, not much else I really want to say except standard Sokazin, no Tawara, Soaring City, a couple Den of the Bugbears if we have to just try to go wide with tokens, a mountain, that's it. We're not even using a single island. This is only your basic, so it is a little risky to do. But otherwise, don't worry about taking too many hits with shocks and pain lands. This is an aggressive deck. You want to start slinging spells as fast as you can and close out the game as quickly as possible. With that, we do have a sideboard. We have also a companion when you're using Jengoth the Wellspring. This is mostly a free roll. The deck, of course, is designed as already optimal, so that's why, in a weird way, this kind of works out in using it. You're not really using it for its secondary ability. It's basically just an extra body in a pinch if you absolutely have to pull something big out against your opponent. Most of our best of three options, if we're going to sideboard, are going to be just a lot of defensive plays with slip out the backs, negates, spell pierces, graveyard hate, soul guide lantern, some braids to deal with some extra damage or destroy an artifact, call in a professional. I do like this card. It's expensive for three mana, basically doing three damage. So it's kind of more or less on the top end of the curve. But if you want to prevent your opponent from gaining life, which is one of the biggest weaknesses to the deck and ensuring that we can get our damage through by making sure damage can't be prevented, we can then hopefully close out the game when we absolutely have to. That's mostly it for the deck. I actually really had fun with this, even in Just Explore, but if you want to play the best version of it, which is arguably also the best deck in Historic right now, definitely consider playing the OG version on the Historic format. Yes, I'm not really a fan, again, as I mentioned before many times, I'm not a fan of Alchemy, but I can't lie. The Alchemy buffs that some of the cards gained are actually very powerful, and I would highly recommend it if you do want to at least play the most optimal version but if you want to play this even in explorer as you just saw it does work it's not as explosive but it can be yes there are going to be some personal preferences on certain cards that i chose like the kick in the door and the of one's mind but there are alternatives out there if you want to play it more safer regardless of whichever version you play if you are a fan of spell slinger if you do like wizard tribal and you like to go big and wide i would still say try this deck regardless of whichever format you are in and i'm sure you will not be disappointed that's all i have for you today Thanks again for watching everyone, and just remember that no matter what you do play in the game of life, always be sure to burn bright. Later!